Our country should be like a garden where the flowers of different religions should bloom and spread the sweet fragrance of unity as we have been the best shining example of unity in diversity. हम अपनी जान के दुश्मन को अपनी जान कहते हैं हम अपनी जान के दुश्मन को अपनी जान कहते हैं मोहब्बत की इसी मिट्टी को हिंदुस्तान कहते हैं मोहब्बत की इसी मिट्टी को हिंदुस्तान कहते हैं ये नफरत बुरी है नपालो इसे दिलों में खलिश है निकालो इसे ये नफरत बुरी है नपालो इसे दिलों में खलिश है निकालो इसे न तेरा न मेरा न इसका न उसका न तेरा न मेरा न इसका न उसका ये सब का वतन है संभालो इसे With this beautiful shairi have a warm and pleasant good morning to each and every one present here This is Mubashshir Siddiqui and today I consider myself fortunate enough to express my opinion on a very important topic that is secularism in India I would like to start my speech with the soul of our sacred constitution that is preamble We the people of india having solemnly resolved to constitute india into a sovereign socialist secular democratic republic the term secular was incorporated in the preamble of our sacred constitution by the 42nd amendment act on 18th of december 1976 which has already been declared as the part of the basic structure of the indian constitution by the honorable supreme court of india the incorporation of the term secular in the preamble is an act of translating the holy dream of our great leader mahatma gandhi into reality who had once told that i do not expect india of my dreams to develop one religion that is to be holy hindu or holy christian or holy muslimman but i want it to be holy tolerant with its religions working side by side with one another this great statement shows the importance and beauty of secularism in a country like india which got freedom with the joint and combined efforts of the leaders belonging to different religions therefore we must know that न तेरा है न मेरा है ये हिंदुस्तान सब का है न तेरा है न मेरा है ये हिंदुस्तान सब का है न समझी गई ये बात तो नुकसान सब का है जो इसमें मिल गई नदियाँ तो दिखलाई नहीं देती जो इसमें मिल गई नदियाँ तो दिखलाई नहीं देती महासागर बनाने में मगर एहसान सब का है we must know that our constitution requires the state to be secular and therefore the state has no any religion but shall respect all the religions to keep india fully united and strong with peace and prosperity everywhere our constitution doesn't permit mixing religion and state power and therefore politics and religion can't be mixed and if anybody tries to do so it would be quite illegal and unconstitutional we must know this fact that article 27 of the constitution prohibits using tax payers money for the promotion of any religion we should keep this fact in mind that secularism is the soul of national unity and integrity and therefore our country should be like a garden where the flowers of different religions should bloom and spread the sweet fragrance of unity as we have been the best shining example of unity in diversity i would like to conclude my speech with a very beautiful couplet which shows the real mentality of true indians hum apni jaan ke dushman ko apni jaan kehte hain hum apni jaan ke dushman ko apni jaan kehte hain मोहब्बत की इसी मिट्टी को हिंदुस्तान कहते हैं मोहब्बत की इसी मिट्टी को हिंदुस्तान कहते हैं
थैंक यू सो मच